What is up everybody? My name is Adam and today I have a very very special video for you guys and a very very special review. Recently we we uh you know we hit a milestone guys. We got over 50,000 accumulated views on the channel and and for a small channel like mine, you know, that's that's a pretty big deal to um uh, you know, at least to me it is. Uh, and it, it means the world to me, and I, I felt like doing this review, uh, not just because I literally just got this in right now, but, uh, because my very first video was me showing off my, uh, Halo 4, uh, limited edition controller, not from the console, but, uh, a different version of the Halo 4 controller, kind of similar, blue LED lights and all that, um, you know, it's special, but, uh, that was my very first video. You know, saying, hey, this is a gaming channel, you know, for Halo videos and all that. And uh, this is the controller I'll be using, um, you know, behind the scenes. So, yeah, I mean, what, that was three or four years ago? Um, you know, so here we are. Uh, I figured the perfect uh, thing to do for a 50,000 view special video um, is this. Uh, my, my Xbox 360 Slim, it recently... Um, I recently got um, some sort of uh, issue with it. It has all these like lights flashing across the screen, these little glitches. Like when I play Halo Reach, I'll just see these blue glitching, flashing all over the screen from time to time. It's really weird. And it's not just that, it's uh, in different games. I, I looked up uh, the issue on the Xbox support page and I did every option, I, I removed the storage, I switched USBs, I switched TVs, cleaned the disc, and nothing makes a difference. So I realized it was time for me to replace my 360. And uh, you, you guys know I love Halo. I mean, my, my channel started out as a Halo channel. But like, it's not that anymore, man. Yeah. Um, obviously. Um, but yeah, so it started out as a Halo channel, and Halo 4... And Halo Reach, you know, when Halo 4 came out, that was when I was seriously getting, uh, you know, I was getting serious about Halo and I was getting serious about gaming. Um, at that time, it was still more of a, a fantasy um, because uh, the places I was living in wouldn't really allow it, unfortunately. Anyway, um, but point being, uh, Halo 4 has always been my favorite Halo. This Master Chief right here, this will always be my version of the Chief um for forever um so yeah i looked up this console you know just why not why not you know it'd be a dream to have this console and i live in canada so normally i get um ripped off with import charges and shipping it's just brutal something as expensive as a console you know something that's over 200 dollars i get I have to you know pay an extra 40 50 dollar fee when i actually go to pick it up because there was a hidden import charge or something like that. So it, it, it can be kind of hard um, buying online for me sometimes, guys. Uh, but I found this listing from uh, Saskas Saskatchewan, Saskatoon. I'm sorry, it's a little bit of a tongue twister for me. Um, and it was for a like new Halo 4 Xbox 360 uh, limited edition with one controller. Uh, the dude sold the other controller for $70 to make you know a little bit of extra money, which is smart, right? Uh, but like new is the best condition you can get in another new, and I paid 250 bucks for it, where other listings for it were, uh, for it being new were, um, were $500. So I paid half of it to get it in pristine condition, and wait till you guys see this. So this is the box. Let's take a look at the console, and unlike some reviews, I'm going to plug it in, and I'm going to show you my setup in my room, maybe show you some of my display pieces, because this is a special video, guys. So let's see what the console looks like out of the packaging. Okay guys, and here is the console in all of its glory, and uh, I, I can't believe how amazing the condition is. I mean, Halo 4 has been out for uh, for quite a few years now, um, what, five years or something like that? And uh, for the console to be in this perfect condition, I mean, it's truly been taken care of. I don't see a single scuff mark on it. Like, literally, if, if I was at a buddy's house and he said, oh, look, I, I got this new... I, I believe them because it literally looks like it's brand new. I mean, I bought it in light new condition, but as far as cosmetic goes, I haven't actually set it up yet. But I don't see anything. I don't see a, a scuff. I cleaned it with a, with a, my glasses cleaner, you know, that little cloth. Uh, so there shouldn't be any hand 
printer, smudge marks on it, but it is glossy. It is glossy as hell, and oh my gosh, like the grill. I don't see a single piece of dust. It's insane how well this is, how well it was packaged, just just above and beyond, honestly. Like, that's the sort of thing is, if I could leave a tip, I would, because it's it's just incredible how much effort was into selling this, you know, as far as cleaning it up, if it needed, you know, probably some dust and whatnot. Uh, it, it's incredible, and as, you know, Halo 4, that was my first Halo, you know, I, I say this often, but, uh, you know, in the Halo 4 campaign, when you, uh, when you crash land on Requiem, you come around that, that corner for the first time, right before you, uh, you know, you find the Warthogs, and you see those foreign spires the first time, and every time I see that, it takes my breath away. I am so passionate about Halo, and, and voice acting, and all that other stuff, but, you know, Halo... I love Halo, guys. I love Halo. So for me to own this in new condition, it's incredible. Like I assume everything's gonna function well and all that, uh, because you know it's it's like new. The hard drive's already been formatted, so I can just put my profile on there and we're good. But yeah, I mean it's beautiful, and I'm so glad I own this. So thankful to the seller. So so thankful that you know I looked it up when it was, and, and everything just worked out. Uh, tomorrow I'm going uh, with my twin sister to uh, get my internet uh, plan upgraded. I only have 15 megabytes. I, I, I feel like an asshole because I was like, oh, I pay great money for my internet, guys. Like, uh, I, I don't lag, which I don't lag often, but 15 megabytes. So I'm upgrading that to a 60 megabyte plan because I feel terrible that I can only stream in 480 on Twitch. So... With that 60 megabyte plan, I should be able to uh, stream in 720p on Twitch without no lagging. Hopefully, I'll be able to do 1080p without any lagging. Um, but I'm going to be streaming a lot more, and it's going to be HD streams now. I'm so sorry, guys, for any of you who checked out my Hill and Voice Acting uh, Episode 2 with uh, Linus B Gaming. Thank you so much. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie. The gameplay's great. They're all 30 kill games and above. Except for one, it was a 26 kill game. Um, and I had over 50 accuracy. So even though the, the quality is shit, watch it on your phone. The voice acting is great. It's entertaining. And uh, Linus is great. He did some voices. And uh, the, the, the gameplay is great. It's just a quality shit. And I, I feel so bad that I, I even, you know, uploaded streams with that such shitty quality. But like I said, um, from, from now on, it's going to be 720 or 1080p streams. Actually HD. Not just me converting the file from 480 to 1080p, praying to God it makes a difference after waiting 24 hours to, for it to upload. Um, but yeah, guys, so this is the console, and uh, how could I forget? Let me show you the controller. One sec. Okay, guys, so here's the console, and now this is the controller you're used to. The way I set up my camera, I'm going to do the best to, uh, to kind of center this for you guys, but this, this was my very first video, me showing off this controller. Now, I'm not going to lie, I've had this for many years, and I wish I'd taken better care of it. It doesn't look bad, right? It looks good. It looks like it's in good condition, but the issue with it is this, guys. This part, it's cracked. I don't know if you can see that. It's cracked right there, so the only way I can actually get this to work, it won't work without a battery pack because that part is broken, is if I have it plugged in with a uh, plug-and-play cable. Which I do anyway to say batteries, but I still have it. It still works. It's just that back part is cracked. And I wish I would have noticed that better or, you know, taken a little bit uh, better care of it over the years. So I, I do feel bad uh, about that, but I, I will rectify that with uh, the new controller. So this is the exclusive controller that comes with the console. Like it's groovy, Scoob. You said it, Maggie. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sorry if that was cringy, but... Shaking scooby doo I haven't really warmed up yet. I haven't even really gone to bed, so... Hmm. It's alright. Yeah, this is a new controller. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And, um, I'll hook it all up and show you guys what it's like with the, uh, lights on and stuff, but... So yeah, new controller. Old controller, once again. I, I hope I'm centering that, okay? But yeah, guys. So, that is how the console and controller look on the turntable. Now it's time for the piece de resistance. I'm gonna set it all up in my room and then 
I'm going to take you guys in my room and show you my room. My room's really small, but I got a shit ton of Transformers and Star Trek ships and all of the goodies. Because um, I'm a collector, guys. I, I'm very passionate about shows and movies, and I, I love what I love. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show off my room. It's small, you know. There's a, a few Scooby Doo stuffed animals. <laughs> I mean, you see some YouTubers and they got Pikachu's all over the place and whatnot. But um, yeah. Okay, guys. So uh, let's get the console set up. You can see what the the sounds sound like, uh, the LED lights and all that. Let's do it. We are in my room. The console is set up. Everything's working great, and oh, it's beautiful. You got that nice blue LED light, and then there's white behind it, and it's transparent, so you can see right through it. You can see the controller. Looking great. This shit is glossy. Like, it is so reflective. And then, for the first time ever, you guys get to see my room. Honestly, though, I, I wish you could see just how shiny it is. Just like my Enterprise D review from uh, Diamond Select. Uh, from Star Trek uh, Next Generation. Uh, it's just one of those things we have to experience in person. This is my Diamond Select Star Trek uh, First Contact Enterprise E. Over here, got a Halo 4 poster, a nice uh, Star Trek uh, piece of art right there. And then this is my uh, Transformers Masterpiece Collection so far. We've got the Revenge of the Fallen Megatron from Transformers Dream Factory. Light up eyes, gun, everything. We've got Masterpiece Movie Bumblebee, Ironhide. Uh, Ratchet, we got Optimus Prime, and at some point down the road I'll probably do uh, reviews. We got the whole Scooby Doo collection, we got Fast and Furious, Transformers, you won the entire collection of that, the original series of Star Trek and Blu ray. Here, uh, this is my uh, main display case. Up on the top, we got the 2009 Playmates USS Enterprise, we've got the Star Trek uh, Diamond Select, the original series HD remastered USS Enterprise. We've got the original actual release from Takara Tomy and Hasbro of Masterpiece Movie Prime. That was my first Masterpiece Transformer. We got the original uh, Sentinel Prime from uh, how many years back? We've got the NX-01 from Star Trek uh, Enterprise from Diamond Select. Uh, this is the only Star Wars thing I own. Uh, it's the Lego ATSD, so that's nice. Got my bed <laughs> where I uh, sit on my ass and game 24-7. You know, this is how we gamers do it. Halo Common Evolved Anniversary, Halo 5, we got the Halo Master Chief uh, collection poster right there. And then, yeah, that's literally my whole room. We got a nice big TV, 4K, just don't have the 4K console yet. We've got the necessities, we've got some Pringles, some <laughs> Lay's chips, so all that. We got my PS4. Uh, my profile is Heather MK when he teams built the exact same way. Uh, I just gotta get on there at some point. That's the mic I use for my recordings. It's uh, the Neaver 700, I believe, and that's the uh, power supply for it. Got a, a Bionicle there. The only Bionicle uh, I own so far is it was my first Bionicle from my parents, so it has a lot of value to me. So I bought that new. Uh, that is uh, Huiki from the Toa Mahari. So if you guys want to talk Bionicles, hit me up in the comments below. But yeah, so this is my setup, this is my room, this is where I, I live, and I'll probably die. <laughs> no, I'm playing, I'm playing. But uh, yeah, so this is my room, that's a new console, everything's set up, super stoked. I mean, it's it's perfect condition, I, I can't even begin to tell you how shiny it is. There's not a single scuff mark, like literally, it's brand new, it's it's amazing, I'm so thankful. Um, you know, that, that I got this console, and I'm thankful to all of you guys for the support on my channel and, you know, just everything, whether you're, you know, you drop by from time to time, you're, uh, you're a constant, you know, you're a constant supporter, it, it means the world to me, uh, I'll be doing a lot, a lot of voiceovers, um, so, uh, that, that will be coming up next, I, have uh, started working on Minecraft, uh, Star Trek builds in Minecraft, because you guys know how I do my professional uh, Star Trek builds in Halo, so I'm doing that in Minecraft right now. I haven't uh, touched Halo 5 Forge in a while, but um, I'm sure I'll get back to it at some point. Uh, I gotta finish my Enterprise D, uh, so me and my friend uh, MJ can uh, can uh, do that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for for all of your support through the years and uh, and for being my friends on Xbox Live. It's really great. I love doing YouTube. I work really hard to maintain my channel, make thumbnails, upload videos on a, on a weekly basis. Um, you know, and, and having supporters there 
uh, that that helps. I mean, it gives me a reason to keep doing it, uh, even if I get a, a lot of dislikes sometimes. Why haters gonna hate it? I don't know. Um, but you know, and I'm so happy uh, that I'm gonna be streaming for you guys in 720 1080p. It's not gonna say it's 1080p, but look like fucking dog crap. Anyway, I'm just real like that. But yeah, uh, like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And you just want to check out another Halo 4 console review uh, because I got lots of voice acting goodness and all that. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll be doing another Shaggy Sings down the road, but, uh, like, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. You guys rock. We'll see you next time.